Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. I got asked a question about training arms every day. He said, hey Megan, I train arms every day, like you said, and um, apart from everybody else who's getting gains from it, he said he's actually, it's been three days or something like that. He's losing size in his arms. I guess he's, uh, uh, you know, paranoid about it and he's measuring his arms like every day or some shit. First of all, you're not going to see results in days. That's one. Two, the one thing you will see in gain, I mean, in, um, in days is a loss in size. Now, that's obviously if you're doing something wrong. It's easier to it's easier to lose size than to put it on. Everybody knows that. Well, in your case, you said that you, um, hold on a second. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, <coughs> if protein breakdown is higher than protein synthesis, first of all, in three days, I don't notice the changes, but after like a few days, you're gonna get up one day and be like, what the fuck do I look like, you know? So it's not gonna happen overnight. Even though it's happening slowly, protein breakdown is happening slowly, uh, if you're catabolic, it's gonna take a few days for you to actually see, and that's what that's the bad thing about it. Because by the time you realize it, it's too late, you, you've been breaking out protein for a long time. But it's not necessarily what's happening with you. If you're losing size that fast, it's not because you lose the muscles, it's because you're losing obviously, you increase your volume. And I'm in a video explaining people that you increase your training volume because now you're doing a body part every day, but you do not adjust your diet. And that's the mistake that so many people make is they'll see a new routine or a new whatever, add the, the um, add more workouts to their routine, or add more sets, add more volume, but keep the diet the same. That is ridiculous unless you're trying to you know lose size. Obviously, I'm you know you're not if you, if you send me that message. So check your diet. You know, obviously you're training almost every day. Something you were not doing before for your body to adapt to that. You need to supply with the you know. Uh, not only the energy it needs, but the nutrients it needs, you know, to 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 grow. So, and if if, if you lost size in three days, it's not it's not muscle at first. Check your hydration. Make sure you, you know you hide you're hydrated because water plays a big part in like you know um, how full your muscles look. Check your hydration. Check your carb your carb intake. You know, obviously, if you carb depleted or you're not eating enough carbs to to match your the, you know the intensity of your workouts, you're gonna look flat. You know, carbs help pull water into the muscle it's all about water people don't really understand the importance of water when it comes to bodybuilding water is almost everything if water decides whether somebody's mr olympia or not you know your muscles look flat <clears throat> you know it's a water problem your muscles you know you have you order too much water you look blood it's all about controlling water but anyway um so if you lost size that quick it's mainly water and then also you know glycogen carbs so check your diet make sure you increase your calories i don't like saying calories because people get confused you know you go ahead and drink more alcohol that'll be increasing your calories but it won't be good for you when i say increase your calories i mean you know increase your nutrients right increase your protein a little bit obviously you're, not even a little bit increase your protein if you're training your body part every day you know you know hopes of increasing protein synthesis for that muscle make it look story short to make the muscle grow you want to increase your protein intake and people don't understand that it is the protein that builds the muscle that thing all these other things so I made a video saying, guys, calories don't build muscle. Calories help build muscle, but what really builds muscle is the nitrogen from the protein. So if you're training arms every day or any body part every day, increase your protein intake because by training arms every day, you're stimulating protein synthesis every day, and you're also increasing protein breakdown depending on how your energy level is. So make sure your nitrogen balance is always, you know, up to par with the training, right? I hope that helps, right? Increase your... It's not your training that's wrong. Don't try to stop it. it fix your nutrition. Also, you asked me um, when, when to start noticing gains. People that have tried that method of overtraining their arms, in quotes, um, and then taking a, a long break off and notice the gains, it's not until you take that break off, when your muscles really get to grow, your mTOR gets to reset, it's when you get back in the gym after that break that you're really gonna notice on your first pump, you know, the, the, the change in, in, in muscle size. That works for every muscle. So do it for like a week or two where you're training arms every day, maybe three, four weeks, you know, well, that's, that's too extreme if you're a beginner. Two weeks of training arms every day, Go up to four weeks maximum, and then take a two weeks off from hitting arms. Don't hit arms at all. But even if you're doing chest, you know, try not to do chest because it's gonna hit your tricep. Don't hit arms for another two weeks after your four weeks. Then doing that two weeks of, of rest period, just eat well, drink plenty of water. And when you go, at first you're gonna notice that you're getting a little smaller. That's fine. It's because you know the water, you know the glycogen, things like that. And when you go back in the gym, I guarantee you, you'll be amazed. At number one, your first pump, how big, how, how much bigger you look, and the following days, how much your body just soaks up glycogen and the muscles look fuller and things like that. Now, it's, a lot of it is sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, but you're also going to have my fibula hypertrophy and if you're lifting weights that are heavy enough, not too light. But anyway, I hope that answers your question about it. Also, don't forget, another mistake a lot of people make is they go super heavy. Remember, I said it time and time again, if you're doing that trainer body part, every day every time you go to the gym thing it's not every single day but every time you go to the gym um do not go super heavy don't 
don't do it. I keep telling people it's not gonna work. I found it. I, I, I discovered this method by accident, and then I did my research to find out that people were actually doing this on purpose. And I realized that when I went super heavy, not only I fucked up my joints, but it took me a lot longer to recover. And if you take it, if it takes too long for the muscle to recover, it won't grow. You know, you want to stimulate protein synthesis. You want to stimulate the muscle just enough to keep the protein synthesis high every single time you go to the gym. But you don't want to work out to the point where you completely drain all your resources, you know, on your arm because you're doing it every day. If you're doing it once a week, then it's fine to go to failure and things like that with super heavy weights. But not if you're lifting it every day, right? And besides, arms are small muscle group. You really need a lot of reps to get them to grow. But anyway, I'm out of here.